Modern, tough, and lethal war machines. Introducing Germany's Panther KF-51 and the UK's Challenger 3, transforming the face of ground warfare. Who's your champion? The global stage is gearing up for a new era of armored warfare. These cutting-edge main battle tanks represent the pinnacle of modern tank design, featuring advanced technology, powerful armaments, and robust protection. The world is left wondering which of these giants will dominate the future battlefield. In this feature, we delve into the intricacies of the Panther KF-51 and Challenger 3, examining key features, performance capabilities, and potential advantages. Discover the answer to the question, which is better, an extremely expensive and sophisticated tank, or a more affordable and simpler one? Let's explore further. An impressive innovation has emerged in the military world, the Panther KF-51, a cutting-edge tank developed by Rheinmetall Land System. This tank is not just an ordinary combat vehicle, it is designed to control unmanned aerial vehicles, such as drones, both in flight and on ground. Additionally, the Panther KF-51 can interact with loitering munitions and various unmanned ground vehicles. First unveiled to the public at the Euro Satery Defense Exhibition on June 13, 2022, the Panther KF-51 utilizes the chassis of the Leopard 2A4, enhanced with the integration of new technologies. This tank reflects the latest developments in modern warfare, requiring fewer crew members, thus allowing for better collaboration between humans and machines. From the outset, the Panther KF-51 was designed to deliver the highest level of lethality on the battlefield. Its primary weapon, a 130mm L-52 smoothbore gun, offers unmatched firing capabilities thanks to an optimized sensor-to-shooter link. The ammunition handling system is fully automated, enhancing efficiency and responsiveness in combat. Unlike other main battle tanks, the Panther KF-51 emphasizes firepower through the future gun system developed by Rheinmetall, enabling a range that is 50% farther and an extraordinary rate of fire due to its autoloader performance. Furthermore, the tank is equipped with a coaxial 12.7mm machine gun and various options for a remote-controlled weapon station, as well as the Hero 120 munitions, adaptable to different roles and missions. The Panther KF-51 is also regarded as a fully digital main battle tank. Designed with a digital architecture, all weapons are connected to targeting sites and a fire control computer. This allows for efficient hunter-killer operations, seamless target engagement, and future AI-based decision support. However, the advantages of the Panther KF-51 extend beyond its weaponry and digital systems. It is the first tank to adopt an integrated survival concept, equipped with sensors inside and outside the platform. This concept is complemented by active, reactive, and passive protection systems, as well as protection against top attack threats. With a combat weight of just 59 tons, the Panther KF-51 offers exceptional agility, capable of traversing over 500 kilometers, this allows it to operate across various terrains without preparation. Thus, the Panther KF-51 excels in both tactical and strategic mobility, making it a formidable vehicle on the battlefield. Despite its cutting-edge technology, the Panther KF-51 faces challenges. The complexity of integrated technologies, high costs, and significant weight for transport and deployment pose potential issues. However, with its vast potential as a successful combat vehicle, only time will tell how the Panther KF-51 can overcome these challenges on the battlefield.
The upgrade of main battle tanks is an inevitable trend in the world of defense. In May 2021, the UK Ministry of Defense made a strategic move by awarding an £800 million contract to Rhine Metal BAE Systems Land. The goal was to upgrade 148 Challenger II main battle tanks for the British Army. The result of this project is the Challenger III, a main battle tank that features network-enabled digital technology, advanced lethality, improved protection, and world-class target surveillance and acquisition capabilities. Challenger 3 is designed to meet the challenges of modern battlefields, promising high operational effectiveness along with safety and comfort for its four-member crew. The tank's survivability is well accounted for. Equipped with specialized armor, a laser warning system, and optional active protection systems, the Challenger 3 is ready to face various threats. The next-generation modular armor that lines the tank provides a significant boost to its survivability. The newly designed turret structure also enhances the commander and gunner's visibility, thanks to the adoption of automatic target detection and acquisition systems. However, the innovations of the Challenger 3 don't stop there. The tank is equipped with two independent thermal imaging systems for the commander and gunner, allowing for automatic target tracking, wide area searches, and more efficient target detection. While the Panther KF-51 boasts a variety of lethal weaponry, the Challenger 3 is equally impressive. It features the latest 120mm high-pressure L55A1 main gun, capable of firing advanced kinetic energy anti-tank rounds, as well as programmable NATO standard ammunition. Also, Challenger 3 offers enhanced first strike capabilities and cutting-edge fire support technology. Weighing in at 66 tons, the Challenger 3 is heavier than its predecessor, the Challenger 2, yet it maintains an impressive operational range of 500 to 600 kilometers. Its agility is supported by a second-generation hydropneumatic suspension and an upgraded engine with a better cooling system, which also translates to lower maintenance costs. With all these upgrades, digital capabilities, improved vision systems, enhanced protection, better mobility, and more modern ammunition, the Challenger 3 appears to be a solid long-term investment for the British Army. How reliable are its advanced systems? Both the Panther KF-51 and the Challenger 3 offer significant leaps in tank technology. They represent a perfect blend of firepower, protection, and mobility. However, the Panther KF-51 stands out with its more futuristic approach, incorporating artificial intelligence and unmanned aerial vehicle control. On the other hand, the Challenger 3 provides significant improvements over its predecessor, focusing on protection and battlefield survivability. The choice depends on priorities. What kind of innovations are needed for the future? Leave your thoughts and thanks for watching.